But it's the whole swallowing part where you can't swallow because it's so sore. <laughs> Break it down, Cos. How dare you! Holy fucking Not much to talk about here. Would you not give your left no 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 to be a quarterback on that team? The Wheelhouse. Sunday NFL wrap up with Bauer. That team is right now destined for the shit pile. And the sweet, nasty Chris Cause. The victory for my ego, baby. Welcome! Welcome, everybody, to your Sunday Night Football Wrap-Up. Thanks for tuning in here at uh, wheelhouseradio.com. I am Bauer. And I'm not sure why I watch sports. <laughs> <laughs> oh, about hmm, what time was that, Jeff, that you texted me uh, saying, have you heard from Cause? And I said, no, I hadn't heard from Cause. And he said, is, is Cause okay? Is there uh he doesn't have a belt around his neck someplace, does he? And I said, no, I don't believe so. Why? Um, and this is because I, I was um, on family duty today. So I, I spent zero time. I watched zero of the early games today. <laughs> and uh, and Which was I'm trying, sure mad, right? trying mad. to gather information from my cell phone. And then the times that I was in the car and uh, and getting serious, trying to gather information there as well. Um, and and I thought and I, and I texted this back to Jeff. Should we cancel the show for tonight? I just don't know what how Cause is feeling. Should we check with him and see if he wants to cancel this evening? Um, and and I thought, you know what? Uh, this is probably a great time as any for a good Cause rant because we haven't, you know, had a, a very uh, dedicated. I'd love to t- I'd love to tell you that that I'm uh, I would be locked and loaded for that. I'm so defeated. Mm. It was uh, because You're I probably going to get a very very lackluster me. Gotcha. I was concerned because it was almost as if the sports gods were like pooing all over cause because it was almost at the exact times things were happening. It was the Bills and the Patriots, the Red Sox and the Yankees, and I was like, this is just not a good day for him. Maybe we should just cancel. Here's uh, but I, at least the Raiders. Could have gone better. Yeah. It <laughs> could still go better. It that's, still could go better, yes. That's true. That is well, very true. There's hope. Hey, listen, pick that shit up, little Because, boy. frankly, I mean, like, there's there's this much that says it can't get much worse. Mm-hmm. But it's pretty close. Mm. I, well, the Raiders won't beat the Jets. I mean, that's a good thing for you. You I hate the Jets. That. You hate the Jets, which is I good. I picked that game. I thought that the Raiders would win that outright. Well, here's – let's – let's um, let's let's. Is that your eliminator pick? I don't – No, my eliminator pick today – I went with the Chargers. I would. Oh, did you really? I Nobody. Would, you didn't go. Uh, 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 the uh, Ravens over the Rams. No. Nope. I oh. went with the Chargers. For especially early on, I would much prefer to go and die with a home super favorite. Okay. And so there's like weird, fluky things that can happen on the road, as far as I'm concerned, especially yes. in domes. Yes. So. It, it, I went with – I figured that there was no way on God's green earth that the Chargers, after taking the beating that they took last week to the Patriots, would go back home and lose to a Chiefs team that has lost their best offensive player, their best defensive player, and have come off two straight shellackics. And as I posted on Twitter earlier today, still haven't let Matt Castle know that the season has begun. <laughs> He, I did I did like hearing some stats early on in that one. It was, well, he's been very efficient today. He's 11 of 14, <laughs> but it's for 69 yards. <laughs> for negative two. <laughs> it was like, now it's efficient. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's very efficient. It's very, in small, small yardage, that's a, that's yeah. very efficient of him. From, from yeah, other, cute, other quarterbacks think that's cute. <laughs> like, Patrick thinks that's cute. <laughs> I'm in a I'm in an eliminator league trying to get into this league that's an ESPN podcast. Uh-huh. So, uh huh. So yeah, what I do yeah. Are you? Uh, yeah, I want to try the eliminator thing. I actually went with the Panthers today over the Jaguars. Did you? I'm trying it, to save. Was, all that was my the other teams. one. And yet I still, as much as I would have thought that if it was any time to pick the Panthers, it would have been this week. Uh, I actually went and looked at the Chargers schedule, and this was the best week to pick the Chargers. Hmm. I agree, especially considering the way that the Chiefs have been playing. I think you're right. It's the best week. And I looked, I was like, well, you know, do I want to, you look at certain teams, do you want to save them for later on? 
the Chargers were not a team I needed to save for later on looking at their schedule. The right. best chance they have was against maybe the Broncos, but then that can get weird and fluky. We're seeing that the Raiders might be better than we thought originally. Uh, I wouldn't want, yeah, wouldn't want the Broncos on the road. So, I don't know. I just thought the Chiefs would be best. Well, and even need some other team coming in. Even you know, even Titans Broncos, you just don't know which Titans team is showing up. You know, is I it... considered the Titans more heavily because I figured I don't believe in this Titans team. As soon as Matt Hasselbeck goes down in about week six, right now I'm never going to get to use the Titans again. I really did consider the Titans. Right, I already tried using the Titans. Once. Did you? Did you? I think it was like week one, and they got who they lose to. If I may, just one. remember the Titans, guys. That's all I have to say. That was a great movie. Um, yeah, there. I feel like there's. Today, as I uh, like I said, I missed all of the early games. Um, I, although I did listen to, uh, as I was pulling up into my driveway at my house and about to get out of the car, I made my wife and daughter stay in the car while I listened to the winning field goal from Jason Hansen, um, yeah. uh, propelling the Lions, who had been down twenty to nothing at the half, into a three and zero season so far. And um, and and then masturbated feverishly in front of both of them. Huh. I think that's illegal. I think you're right. I mean, not in Connecticut, but in some places it is. Mexico. Yeah. Uh, but I believe it is the nutmeg state. <laughs> Interesting, because that that's what I call it when I'm finished. Um, <laughs> is that what you, you scream out? <laughs> nutmeg! <laughs> that's my safe word. So uh, I, uh, I, I, that's about the extent that I had. And then I got into the house and, and began sort of watching clips of what had happened for the earlier games. And, and I sat there and thinking to myself, this was the biggest question I had. What happened to defense this year? Like, I feel like defense some is... Some teams are playing it. Some. I think the a select Niners few. The Bengals are playing it. I feel like it's a select few the of Saints of defenses. and Texans, not really. Yeah. You're going to watch the Steelers play it tonight. Well, I believe that's true against a really <laughs> shitty Colts offense. So that that I think by default, you have an awesome... Uh, uh, History of a defense against with with the Steelers against what NBC tried to flex out of tonight's game, but then the NFL told him, no, 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 that's not for three months. <laughs> I can't even. Who's gonna watch that? Is anybody gonna watch that game? Um, yeah, I um, I I I had starting in fantasy, I had the the Houston Texans who had been um a, a great. I had them last week. Thank you. Uh, they, and I said absolutely not going into this. <laughs> well, and I, I agreed, I, but I thought to myself, what if they actually are pretty good against the pass? And uh, again, it is Drew Brees. Uh, and and I looked at who else uh, on in our league was available out there for defenses, and I said, holy fuck, I better stick with Houston. Um, I was yeah, and, I, I debated between Arizona and Atlanta. Yeah, and both of those were mediocre. Mediocre at best. I really was. I, I was just betting against. Uh, Seattle and Pete Carroll and mm-hmm. Mark Jackson is what I was doing there. Yeah. We're trying to decide. I had another league. I actually was diversifying. I, I picked Arizona in the other league, and I took Atlanta in this league. Ah, yeah. Diversity matters. Look at that. Show. Look at that. I, just are... wanted, I, I didn't want to have uh, you know Arizona just kill me across the board. <laughs> that's, what I, that's what I decided to not do, that all of a sudden Marshawn Lynch goes bananas and runs for 230 yards. And I felt like, and instead it was Tavares Jackson, but I felt like um, I... Um, I I sat there like looking at my phone at halftime going, okay, well, yeah, Houston's got me 10 solid points. That's good. And then I get home, and I look at my phone again. And I'm like, how did I get a fucking negative three? Drew Brees must have just lit it up. And then I look at who I'm playing, and this week I'm playing a guy who has Drew Brees. And shoot me in my fucking eye hole. He also Wait a has... Double dip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But hold on, let me give you more. He also has, as I look down on the screen, because Drew Brees got him, uh, I believe, a grand total of 86 points. You're damn right. That's our scoring system. Um, system. And as soon as you look down, the one guy who has gotten higher points than Drew Brees on his team was Darren McFadden. And that game hadn't even finished yet. And uh, and I thought to my, and right now, as I believe as it stands, I'll have to go back in. I'm d- only down by 99 points. You got a chance. <laughs> hey, in this league, it depends on who you got with, with With Dallas Clark uh, still to go, possibly, if he plays. Um, Do you know? 
I dropped Dallas Clark today. I am ready to drop Dallas Clark. If there were any better oh. tight ends available, I would drop Dallas it's, Clark. The streak continues. Bauer dropping like former Pro Bowlers or All Stars in Major League Baseball. Well, I, I, I honestly weeks. did. I I spent a couple minutes going through the tight end selection in fantasy and realizing I don't know that I, there's maybe one or two that are on equal par with Dallas Clark right now that I don't know that I could get rid of. 